Jim, speaking of things that disgust you. Yes. Sorry to stay on this topic, but enough people sent this over, and I forgot to even talk to you about this. The clip of the wrestler, if you want to call him that, who flips around dough like a pizza man during his match. Have you seen this? I have seen one second of it on Twitter. Again, there's a guy in some, in a, it's like an empty concrete block building with, they've set up chairs where there's eight people watching these allegedly professional wrestling matches. And some guy is in the corner of the ring facing off with his opponent and spinning the pizza dough like they do in the pizzerias. That's the way you speak Italian, according to Peter Griffin. You just go at a boot to bop And I'm not going to watch that. I'm not going to click on that link. I'm not going to try to find out what promotion it is or what this guy's name is or who gives a shit. I don't give a fuck. Because, again, the more that we talk about these assholes, the more they think they've accomplished something. But, yeah, it was an actual... And he had the Italian mustache, and he looked like... You know, he'd been floating <laughs> in the river for three days. He had a mustache. I don't know. An Italian mustache. What's well, that? you know, like the... Like you, uh, the, the, on the pizza box, the fucking Italian guy with the chef's hat and the little fucking Italian mustache that's holding up the pizza on the pizza box. That's what he looked like. That was his gimmick. He's trying for that. And physically, he looked like a goddamn, you know, reject from fucking sperm donors or something. And uh, no, I'm not, because it's just, it's ridiculous. It's all these fucking jack offs living out their fantasies of being wrestlers because they think everybody can do this now. Everybody can play. And I just, again, I would love to see the reaction today, much less than the 70s or 80s. But it, today, if it happened in football, if some team in the NFL said, hey, but just because it'll make some idiots watch our program, we're going to bring this guy dressed in blue jeans and a jean jacket with his hands in his pockets and some goofy looking mirrored shady sunglasses. We're going to have him <laughs> shady <run> sunglasses, <laughs> shady sunglasses. We're going to have him run the fucking, you know, kickoff return on every fucking time we do that because it'll be something for the ratings. What do you think the football players would think? What do you do with the football players want to kick the shit out of that fucking guy? More than likely. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> that's the, unfortunately, that's the problem with wrestling is now the guys in the locker room don't want to kick the shit out of these fucking people like they did 40 years ago. The football players still would in 2022, but the wrestlers are too big of a pussies to kick the shit out of these people and send them on their way. That's why, as fans, we've got to watch them. There are some wrestlers who do want to kick the shit out of them, for the record. But, they're, but they want they want to, but they won't. I, I submit for your approval that the goddamn football players would have enough honor and integrity and respect for their fucking sport and profession that they would kick the shit out of the football player trying to fucking play football with his hands in his pockets. But the wrestlers are too pussyish to do that these days. Well, to be fair, the football player has an agent. The football player has a union. The football player has a lot more leeway than a wrestler does in terms of employment. I would think also it, he would a football player to get fired if he kicked the shit out of the fucking guy on, on the team also, but it would be a goddamn statement. He got a book deal out of it. Maybe a radio go. show and... Because here's the thing, if you've, if you've worked and slaved all your life to be a professional wrestler and you end up in a company where they don't give any more of a shit about the business than to employ some, somebody like that, do you really want to work there anyway? Make some news, get over with a significant portion of the fandom, kick the shit out of the fucking guy in the locker room when you give your notice. At least that way people would remember you fondly. All right, Jim, well, speaking of football players would do it. All right, the football expert, Jim Madden here. But Jim, you know, when it comes to <laughs> kicking the crap out of people, perhaps you're one of our fine sponsors and you're saying, hey, where are our spots this week? 
I think they forgot to do them. We want to sue. Well, in that case, I know exactly who you can call and what his number is and what his website is and what his theme music sounds like. Call Stephen P. To the rest. Boy, I tell you, and if you get your ass kicked in the locker room because you were jacking around on a football team and not taking your business seriously, then he can help you there too. That's right, I'm talking about the one and the only Stephen P. New at newlawoffice.com, 888 692 8084, the only attorney that I can think of in the history of the United States of America that is actually forced one of our states to declare a state of emergency over just the threat of Stephen P. New and New Law Office looking into their various misappropriations and misproprieties. You've heard about this big deal in West Virginia last week. Brian, I know it was week before now. I know last week you were off. You may not have been keeping up with all the West Virginia news, but Governor Jim Justice what a gimmick name if ever he he looks like his name sounds like Sid Justice, but he looks like old Charlie Harbin from Chattanooga. He's got hollow, deep set eyes with black rings. He's a fucking weebly wobbly looking satchel assed guy. He's a weeb gray hair. He's not a weeb, he's a weebly wobbly looking fella. Yeah. And the governor declared a state of emergency in the state of West Virginia because of the horrible, horrid living conditions in the state's jails and prisons and penal institutions. And they're claiming that it's from short staffing and overcrowding and all these other things, but they're giving the inmates inedible food and tainted water and they're overcrowding them. And they're, it, 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 I'm telling you, it's getting to the point where you can't even go to jail anymore and have a good time. And Stephen P. <laughs> New sent a communication to the state on behalf of some hundreds of the inmates who have been, frankly, just inconvenienced by this horrible, horrible living condition that they're in. And now the go the uh, state has declared a disaster area over this. They're trying to restaff the prisons. They're trying to call uh, people in to work overtime, but it's too late. It's too late. Stephen P. New is going to yank a knot in their tail and bring them to justice. Just like he's doing in states all over the country, not just limited to West Virginia. I don't even have my list in front of me, but Stephen has cases in Louisiana, in Ohio. I believe Indiana, Tennessee may be coming up. There's something going on down in Texas. He's all over the place. And he can get you the uh, the justice no pun intended on the governor's name. He can get you the justice that you deserve and the compensation that you deserve. Let's say, for example, you're not lucky enough to be an inmate currently in a, in a jail or prison in West Virginia. Let's say you don't qualify for this suit that he's about to file. You've still got some time now. If you want to hurry up and commit a crime and ask for a speedy trial, you can get into these jails too. Don't commit been, a crime. Let's not well, encourage these, this. These inmates are going to be farting through silk when Stephen gets finished with the state of West Virginia. So you might want to be one of them. But if you're not lucky enough to currently be incarcerated in the state of West Virginia, if you've been wrongfully terminated, if you have been damaged or injured through someone's negligence or just not paying attention, if if you have been poisoned by evil companies and their their chemicals that they let off into the groundwater, all these type of things, Stephen P. New and New Law Office can handle for you and bring you the justice that you deserve. Uh, once again, not the governor of West Virginia justice, but your justice, the justice that you deserve. It's justice just for you. Just justice. Stephen P. New, newlawoffice.com, 888-692. 8084. What a battle that would be for the governorship. Justice versus new. Ooh. And I'll tell you what, 
Bye, Cracky. I'll vote for Steve. I'll move to West Virginia and vote for Stephen P. New. That's what I'll do. As a matter of fact, I'll do my patriotic duty, and I will vote early and often for Stephen P. New. Maybe they can erect a statue of you in Beckley. I think they've already got one. Actually, it's my picture on the post office wall, and it says, do not serve this man. <laughs>